Hi viewers, this is Alex Tech Solution and today I'm going to show you how to properly pack a laptop in a safe way so you can ship it. So I'm going to show you the items that you need to buy. You can buy these items on any shipping supplier and or you can buy online too, eBay, Amazon, you can find it even cheaper. So these items that you need to buy, um, a masking tape, this one you can find online or any shipping supplier. Um, also you can find even cheaper on 99 cent store, it's a masking tape. Scissor you will need it, uh, you will need a marker pen, permanent marker. And you need uh, the packing tape, you can find anywhere. Office Depot, eBay, Amazon, or any shipping supplier. I like to use the handgun, I mean the, the dispenser gun, so it make it easy to pack. Also you need to buy your uh, the bubble wrap. This is this is 125 feet by 12 inch. I usually buy this on eBay, so I can get a better deal. Or you can find any any like shipping supplier too. And it has to be the the big bubble. You see. Also, you have to buy your peanut anti-static packing because you, you need two, two kinds of uh, protection. And this is my laptop. This is a Dell XPS 13 inch. So today I'm going to show you with a 13 inch laptop. And also bubble for your protect for, for the, the charger. This bubble wrap is like an envelope so you can use for the charger. Or you can use even those postal office free envelopes. I also have some bubble, you can use those too. Or you can buy on uh, any shipping supplier. The size that I use for the the box, <clears throat> this is 18 by 14 by 6, 6 inches. This one I use for my standard packing laptops. I use any from like 11 inch to 15 inch, up to 15 inch. If you will, you're gonna use a 17 inch or 18 inch laptop or more. You have to be, it has to be a bigger length. Here is 18 by 14 by 6. So you, if you want to use a 17 inch laptop or more, it has to be a 20 inch by 14 6. So my standard box is this size. I mean, you can use a bigger box if you, if you want, but if you can find this size, it will be a good standard size for you this one I bought on my local uh, sh shipping supplier yeah and usually when I go buy I buy like 10 at a time so now I'm gonna show you how to do uh, how to pack your laptop hi viewers um, it's gonna kind of it's gonna be a little difficult for me to do this because I'm holding my camera here with my hand and you can have an idea here so you put your place your laptop you open your uh, the bubble wrap right you place your laptop like here uh, another thing those bubble wrap they have some kind of uh, like a space like a gap you see here, I don't know if you can see, but 
they are all like burst already so you cannot use this part to this part to put on, on the corner here so like for example I don't know if you can see here yeah this one is like all burst so don't use this part on the on the or like side of the laptop you see because this has to be like in the center of the laptop like in the middle or something not on the corner so place your laptop like this and then you wrap keep folding right yeah, you place in the middle right and then you keep folding again you keep folding more fold again oh by the way um, the bubble wrap has different that has a different quality some are thinner some are thick and in this case I bought this one but this wasn't that great quality because this is, is like a thin and kind of weak material they have different qualities of the you know this bubble wrap but this time I got this thinner one so I have to I have to fold more because the way you can tell is you're gonna feel if you feel your laptop if you feel with your finger if you're touching your laptop uh, that means you have to fold more so but right now you see I think this is good enough you know I'm already feeling the con the caution of the the wrap that that's how, how, how you get it then uh, after that you use scissor then you cut it right here then after that you fold it put two tapes here so that's how you do here and then you see the all the the back cover the front cover the sides are protected right but now you see here here is open so you have to use the same bubble wrap and then what you do is You open like this and then you cut it on this side you can cut it right here okay and then what you do you fold it like this fold it Okay, this is how I did. I protect the, the corners. I basically put like five tapes, two of each corner, and then one on a, one in the middle. So do you do the same thing on the other side too, right here? So the second step is the box. So. Now I have to close the box with your packing tape, right? Okay, I just uh, sealed the bottom, right? I put two tapes on each, like two in the middle, two here, and two on the on the corners, right? So you keep well protected. Then now I flip here, and you see this is a little like lifting, right? This side. So what I do is I put some masking tape there. 
So I have my laptop ready, wrapped. And also I have my charger too, wrapped with, I put the masking tape to close. And now the next step, we're gonna fill in with the peanut packing. Just the bottom part of the box. So, let's put it. Don't put too much. Now we spread out like this, make it even to cover all the bottom. Okay, now it's ready. Okay, so you leave, you put your laptop right in the middle, center. And then you place your charger on the side right here, it will be left or right side. And now let's fill in with the We're gonna cover with the peanut packing again. So the way you can tell uh, you see the line on the on the box that's the maximum you have to add it. Now spread out. This you can put a little more if you want. Spread out again, uh, and then you close. Okay, it looks good. Now you just close with your packing tape. Okay, I just sealed the box, so the box is all sealed, closed. looks good and then what I usually do I have this uh, like envelope this one I get bunch from uh, FedEx and it's free if you want to use this you can get them FedEx or for the late I'm talking about for the label right the shipping label or you can use just your regular uh, packing tape and then after that, the last part is I use the, my permanent marker. And then usually I put like here, careful. I put on the side. Or, I can, or you can put a like fragile, something like that. Or you can put made of glass, something like that too. So now it's ready and it's ready to ship. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, bye bye.